Hey everyone, it's Cynthia with Including You Journals. I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, we are going to be working on um, these four by six index cards that have been tea or coffee stained. There's a little bit of decoration on the back side, but I'm still going to be um, decorating them today. I wanted to leave this line side um, as journaling space, so I decided that what I would do is create these for journaling. And I have some old encyclopedia paper out, and I think, excuse me for reaching, I'm going to, I always kind of check a journal that I have on hand. Uh, I just want to see either that or I fold a piece of paper um, because I use copy paper. So I just want to look. If I use journaling cards this way, they're just going to, I don't have enough room. So I'm going to make sure that I turn them in this uh, north-south direction, uh, even though we'll be journeying east to west. I want to decorate north to south, and that's all. I just kind of wanted to show you my reasoning and my thought there. I also have to help decorate today some um, old music paper, um, some cool things that I found recently in um, uh, an antique mall here where I live. Um, this is a little diary from 1945, and there are pages here, and also it looks like where, don't you love that old um, ink that they used? I love those pens that they used back in the day. Um, but from 1945, so I have some blank pages, which will be great to use in journaling, and a few that have actually been written on. Okay, there's that. Then I found um, another little calendar. This one is looks like a promotional calendar from a store, uh, 1939. Again, with some writing, some ledger pieces, um, also uh, empty calendar pages, some written on, especially with pencil, not ink. Okay, and then some addresses in here as well. I think I saw some with ink, but maybe not. But those will be some cool pages to be able to use if I choose. And then here's just a little traveling expense book that I found as well. Um, this actually says Knoxville on that page, but you can see uh, someone has written here. I thought that was a cool book. I'm not sure of the date. Yes, I am, 1950, October the 1st to October the 31st of 1950. So we know the date of that. And then I found a couple of pages from an old children's book, Little Red Riding Hood. I thought we might use those, Jack and Jill here. And I have some other bits and pieces, some Italian paper from Rachel is close by. Also some doilies. I have a couple of these uh, die cut bunnies and deer from a, a kit that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I'll use these, but I have, the, have them here. And also some fussy cud birds and some things. Also have a little bit of lace, uh, daisy lace that I might use. Again, I'm not sure. And uh, I have a little bit of, a few scrap remnants from, that Sharon Thompson sent me in the mail. I may be using some of those, I'm not sure, but I have them handy just in case. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna start um, decorating and making up these. Um, excuse me, I'm trying to get a piece of paper to use to glue on. Um, I didn't bring a, a glue book in here, but I, um, <clears throat> I can use that to make a pocket with later. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, go ahead and start decorating some of this background and I can use that to glue. So let me set these, let's see, the best place, kind of out of sight, or at least out of the, the main portion of the screen, and where I don't have to reach around in front of the camera. Okay, let's see what we can do. <clears throat> I did pick up a glue stick, even though I also have my um, Art glitter glue, I love that, especially while I'm videotaping, just because it goes so fast. Okay. <clears throat> and this music paper was just from an old hymnal that I found locally. One nice thing about using glue stick is that you can, you do have time to reposition, push it all the way out to the side if you don't get it there. And of course, we know that's not a 
um, that's not a deal breaker. I can always go back and trim the card up just a little bit. I'm just not being able to move it. Maybe the card is, or the glue is drier. Excuse me. <clears throat> well, today is a beautiful day. I hope it is where you are. Let's see. I think I also want to use a little bit of this dictionary page to start with. Okay. This paper is so dry and brittle. I love how it tears. It's nice and straight. And I actually want a straight, straighter edge. So let's see what I can do here just to, um, I could glue that down first and then cut it, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it first. Make, to make that straighter edge to use. We had some rough weather come through last week. We were under a tornado warning, uh, excuse me, a tornado watch. And I think most of the Southeast, and I still didn't use that exactly the way I wanted. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with trimming up what you have and something will cover that up. So we're all right. Make sure I got that 8F off, good. And I did, I'm just sitting that aside so that we don't have to look at it while we're doing something else. There's a bunny, and I have some fabric remnants. Maybe a brown daisy is going to work well with that as well. I'm not sure. Let's see. Just so that you can tell what I'm looking at, I'm looking at this little stash here. Sharon Thompson sent this to me and um, said that she took apart an old rug that was made from these scraps. And uh, I love that she did that. It's a great way to repurpose um, some material. I'm not gonna use a lot of glue to put this down. I think it'll stick just fine. On second thought, I will put just a little bit of the art glitter glue because I know it's strength and value is going to work really well to stick that down. I'm wanting color there. I don't care that it goes off the page. I like that. Let's see if I how I'm doing here. <laughs> Might work if I took the lid off. And I am on the screen. Let's go center. Okay. Just holding that down a second to make sure the glue catches. I like that. Yeah, maybe he's smelling that little daisy. That's the way we're going to think about it anyway. Glue it here. And it will stay down there when it, once it catches just a little bit as it begins to dry, it will connect really well. That art glitter glue is great about sticking things down. I'm also going to use the art glitter glue on the bunny himself simply because he is a die cut. A little bit thicker. I want to make sure I give some strength there. To my bunny. If I don't glue him. And there we have him right in the center of the color. And I did not even bring not one label of any kind with me. So um, yes, I would put, I would need, I, I want a label here and maybe something up here to help go along with that card. But this is one card that we can use. 
and it can be turned over and journaled on once it is used in a journal pocket and once the journal's been created. Okay, sorry, I just see some glue seeping out and I wanna make sure I take care of that. I don't want that clear plasticky coated look. So I wanna make sure that's not on there. Cute little fellow. All right, let's go for another one. This time for background, ooh, I think I'll use some little red. Oh, how about this page where the wolf is actually on the page? Let's see if I can get a little bit of him in there. do just as it is there. I looked up to make sure that I wasn't pushing so hard on the table that I was making the camera jiggle as well. My camera is actually attached to a chair and not the table for that purpose, but I never know with myself what's going on there. Okay. Now I have a little wolf. Could I use something? Okay, too large, I think. But it may not be too large for a bird. Okay, I'm not liking that together. So let's see. Let's go in for a little bit of this paper. I need a straight edge, so I'm going to just trim right here for a second or cut to make this straight edge. And then I'll work from there. And I want it to go on this side. What's that look like? Maybe, but a little bit thinner back behind that wolf. But I do want it to be as tall as it was. Okay, I like that better. Okay. It was a crazy windy day um, last week. We had a really crazy day as uh, some storms passed through this way, as they did throughout the south. Maybe more of the country was hit with some of those, but I believe this came up front right out of the Gulf. Uh, I believe some of Louisiana and quite a few states below us, south of us, and on up into the Ohio Valley. I believe that went as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back to this deer, but I think I am. I think it makes sense to use him there. And I don't want to cover up my deer, but let's just place it down to see what that's going to look like. I like that. The wolf is, of course, um, I don't want him necessarily in this, in this sweet little picture with the deer, but he has a smile on his face, so he looks very, very sweet, very nice. And because I don't have um, labels, I think I'm going to go back to my bag of fabric remnants and see if I have anything that I could uh, use here. And I do think I can use some of this, so let's see. believe it needs to go here. Again, just a little skiff of glue. Trying to make sure I can see. Yep, I believe this is the side I want to show. And what is not stuck down to the glue, I want it to be a little three-dimensional. I'm going to pull this card back in. 
Look at that three-dimensional play there in the looseness. I like that. And going in and out of a journal that's in a small place, I think it'll be fine in a tuck, pulled out, journaled on, and then replaced uh, like so. And I think the same thing is gonna be true. So let's go ahead and glue everything down here. And again, just a moment to make sure that it catches properly. Okay. And then on the deer. Um, so with the mention of weather, um, I, I'm also, I also can see out the dining room uh, window here and the door that um, the grass is that Easter egg green grass and it just, everything is blooming. The forsythia is blooming. All the other trees are blooming. I'm holding him down for a second to make sure he catches. But it is so springy. And here it is, the very first week of March. And all of this, everything is budded. Uh, all the trees are budding. All the, I mean, they're white. All the, we have a lot of Bradford pears in our area. And the city is just white with Bradford pears. And I've noticed that even the cherry blossoms and what looks like pinch trees, tulip trees, crab apples are all starting to work as well. Now, I would like this a little bit better if I had um, if I had pulled out uh, some labels. Uh, I think that just helps to finish that off. Um, but I do like this card, and this will help me get a little jump ahead on a journal that I am making here. So let's see. I'll go back to excuse me for reaching dictionary page. <clears throat> I can't get enough of that dictionary page because it tears so easily. I want to cut some of this off. Oh, excuse me, I did hit the camera chair that time. I like mostly that text showing there. That looks good. Um, I did feel like I might have gone over, but I did not. Um, maybe, there we go, more into place. Okay, and let's come back in for another music page. And we use numbers a lot when we are uh, making labels or in our journaling. And so I do enjoy utilizing numbers. And I, that's why I've included this one in tearing out of this music paper here. I'm sorry for turning this upside down. I just need to see where I'm put, putting this and I need to pull it to me a little bit in order to do that, even though it turns it upside down for you, and I, my apologies on that. So this is where we are with our background. Now, I am thinking that I would like to use maybe a bird <coughs> this time. That's not the one. I'm not always drawn to a black bird, the black and blue here. I'm not sure what kind of bird this is. And can I put him a little more slanted? I think so, but I'm gonna need a little bit more background paper on this page. So let's go now to one of the books and see what we can come up with. I think I'll utilize a page that has no writing. Yes. Um, simply because that's going to be covered up. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see what this does. Okay, I'm not liking this edge here. I want to pull it away from the edge, so I'm going to tear a little bit. And I'm also going to do that across the top so that I have some unevenness. Right up in here. I think that'll work. also tried to position position the camera in a different way today I have it at an odd angle um, hopefully there are not as many shadows as I've been noticing in the work no one has said anything about the shadows thank you very kind but I am aware of it when I watch the video so I'm being this will help get rid of some of the shadows. Okay, <clears throat> and let's see if I can find another little flower <clears throat> of some kind to add. I can't believe that's there. So something about that size, maybe. No, I'm positioning. I just don't like what I see yet. Oh, but I do like those darker colors there with that dark bird. Okay, so I need to change my mind about using um, black and navy birds because that really is pretty there, <laughs> at least in my opinion. <clears throat> And back to my fabric remnants. I'm looking for a bit of purple to go up there at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, and I've dropped it. Give me a second while I cut another piece. Okay. And I'm not sure. Do I just want you down there, guy? Pulling that purple back. I think I do. And I don't know if you could see what I did there, but I twisted that a little bit so that I got an une more of an uneven cut. I didn't want it to look like any, a lot of care had been given to it to cut it. And I did fold it in over on itself again to give it more of that little 3D effect. And I would love this card a lot more if I had a label near me that I could use. <laughs> okay, I'll try to quit saying that. I like labels. So, all right, well, I think we'll, that'll be enough for what we're doing right now, but I do wanna show you what we've completed together. And simple, simple little journal cards on a four by six tea stained or coffee stained uh, index card. And you can see that here. They're turned north and south instead of east and west because I'll use them in a nice pocket or a tuck space in a journal. And those are three that we did together. And barring the fact that there are no labels on those, I'm finished with them. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day. I hope the sun is shining where you are and that um, life is good for you. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.